Hiya! I'm Clover, and this is the first video that I will be doing on this YouTube channel. Um, basically, two packages arrived in the mail at the same time, so I was like, this was unexpected. I was only planning on doing an unboxing for the one, but I guess I'll do both now. Anyway, I have Toby here, and he's going to be helping me unbox everything. Um, so basically, if it takes too long, I will skip ahead, but I will also be trying on the dresses. So yeah, let's get started. I got both of these boxes off of Lace Market, which is a really helpful site for buying Lolita fashion especially if you're a beginner because you can find a lot of stuff on there that's really cheap. So that's what I like to do. Now let's try to get in here. The person packaged it up very nicely with some duct tape which isn't too hard to get into. Obviously I have it on the side that does not have my address shown or that person's address. But this is a handmade dress that came from Germany. Well, not dress, skirt. So let's take a look here. Ooh, it's really pretty. Oh my gosh, this is the waist. Thank God it stretches. It stretches a lot. I'm surprised. Very good job. And it will definitely fit me nice and snug so I don't have to worry about it falling down at all. And the length seems to be pretty good. Since it's gothic, I think I can get away with having it be a little bit short on me, but it still looks like it would go down to just above the knee. And it's got these really nice uh, rose lace part right above the ruffles along the bottom. So that looks really nice. And thank you for making that so that I can buy it. This next one took a bit more work to get into. The person made it very secure with lots of tape. But this one came from Canada, and it's actually one of my dream dresses from Baby the Star Shine Bright. Yay! So I'm very excited. Um, I haven't gotten a Baby the Star Shine Bright bag before. Um, I did buy another one of their dresses secondhand. Um, I think it's called like milk and the strawberry snow or something. I don't know. Their names are hard. But anyway, um, I really liked that one, but the person did not send it in a Baby the Starshine bright bag. However, the package was still secure because, you know, we're all very, very particular about our dresses and want to make sure that they're good. And I got this one pretty cheap. Um, Obviously, since it's secondhand, it's cheaper than you would get normally. But I got it even cheaper because the person apparently modified the dress a little bit. Nothing major, like they didn't modify it, like add any extra details or anything. Um, apparently, just the shoulder straps, um, since it's a JSK, um, I guess they wore it a lot and it got uh, stretched out a little, but they sewed it up so that the shoulder straps would be the size that they are supposed to be instead of being stretched out. So they also put the dress in this nice kind of, um, I wouldn't say tissuey paper. What is this? It is kind of like tissue paper, but it was nice and secure in this and a bag and a box. So yay for that, because this is an expensive dress, and it's one of my dream dresses too, so I was very happy to get a hold of it. So I'll put this next to Toby, hopefully he doesn't mind. <laughs> and... Oh my gosh! Ta-da! Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! This is the Alice in Ribbon Kingdom JSK in the blue or sax, if you prefer, colorway. And I just thought it was perfect. The blue complements the pink tones very well. It's got kind of a darker pink and a lighter pink and then kind of 
uh, beigey accents along the bottom where her little figure is sliding down on the ribbon and then there's some others of her standing looking pretty and there's some of her sitting with a scepter um yeah i i really really like it um it's got lots of sparkly effects too and like little cloud shapes and on the back we have shearing and a corset tie up thing. I don't know the technical term for it, but it looks really pretty and I love it. I'm actually surprised for a secondhand dress. Um, sorry if you could hear that. That is my cat rolling around on the floor for some reason. Um, for a secondhand dress, I thought that the lace would be more faded, but it actually looks pretty nice. So, yeah. I'm going to try these on for you guys so that you can see how they fit on me and stuff. Hopefully, hopefully the black skirt doesn't fit too snugly. We will see. So thankfully the skirt um, covers my petticoat. I was kind of worried that it would be too short, but it seems to be just fine. So yay for that. Um, it doesn't exactly go down all the way to my knees, um, but like I said, with Gothic Lolita, you can kind of get away with having it be a little short. Um, and I can always pull it down a little bit more. Um, I'm just wearing it over top of this blouse so that I could see what it would look like with that. Because um, I do have a black blouse, and I plan on wearing it over that. So, yeah, I just chose not to wear it today because I knew I would have both of these dresses to unbox and I think this white blouse goes a little bit better with both even though it is more classic and the other dress that I have to try on is sweet Lolita so we'll see how it goes but yeah I really like this skirt and I want to thank the talented person again for making it for me and I can't wait to wear it with my gothic cord. Yay! I forgot to mention while I had the skirt on, but it also has an underskirt part. So that there's a bit of lining in between you and the skirt fabric. Also, say hi to Sori. Okay, um, so my hair and flower crown don't really go with this one, but it was my day off of work and I was feeling really lazy so I didn't want to put on a wig. Sue me. <laughs> but anyway, um, this one is really really pretty and really really girly and I am going to have to wear a second petticoat with this one because I feel like this one doesn't give it enough floof. I want to be more puffy. Um, so anyway, Sorry, I'm acting so hyper. This fashion just makes me really, really happy and more energetic than I am normally. Which I know sounds weird because a lot of Lolitas are like, Oh, wearing this makes me so tired. I can't wait to get it off at the end of the day. Whereas I'm like, I want to wear it all the time. But um, I say that, but yet I confess to not being bothered to put on a wig. Anyway, um, it's got this detachable bow here um, that won't cooperate with me. I will have to adjust it at some point. Um, it also has this zipper down the side, and it goes down a really long way, like down to here where the skirt part actually starts. So it's really easy to um, put this dress on. And as you can see, it is long enough. It goes down to my knees, which is great. Um, so I guess the person I bought this from is the same size as me. I'm not really sure since she didn't say why she was getting rid of the dress. She was just getting rid of it after modifying this. So I guess she wore it a lot. Um, anyway, and I didn't notice before, but the print also has these little rabbits that I guess are supposed to be the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland since this is Alice in Ribbon Kingdom. But um, I am actually a huge fan of Alice in Wonderland, so that's why 
when I saw this print and how pretty it was, I was like, oh, I like Alice in Wonderland. And this is pink and blue, which are two of my favorite colors. So, uh, I don't know. I, I have such a weakness for stuff like this because she's all princessy and girly. And look at this. There she is normally. And then in the looking glass, she has a crown on. So she's like a princess in the looking glass world. No, wait, she's a queen in the Looking Glass world, because I read through the Looking Glass, and she was made into a queen when she reached the final square. Anyway, <laughs> that's that's a topic for a different video. Um, I am a huge book nerd, that's why I'm a writer myself. But anyway, um, I am very happy with both of these pieces that I have ordered from Lace Market, and I look forward to cording them soon, so look forward to pictures of them on my social media. So what I plan to do at the end of each video on this channel is recommend a piece of media to you, whether it be a book, a movie, a TV show, a video game, anything entertainment. So. My recommendation for this video is the Power Rangers movie. Um, I saw it with my boyfriend because we were both fans of the original series. Well, not the original series because that is Super Sentai, but Mighty Morphin Power Rangers we both grew up with and we loved. So we went and saw the new movie and I have to say it pays homage to the original show very, very much while also having a lot of fresh new ideas. So they modernized it so that you believe that the teenagers would exist in today's world, but they also touched on the key points of the old TV show. So if you're a huge fan of the old TV show, you may recognize some of the lines that they say through the movie. <laughs> it's really awesome. But anyways, see you in the next video. Bye!